Hello everybody, in today's video I'm very excited to present a series of new puzzles I've got in my Shapeway shop called the Heavens and Hells Cuboids. Now this is the Heavens Cuboid, this is the first of the two series. The Hells Cuboid is also on my channel and they are being released at the same time, so make sure to watch that one after this one. And before I go into the specs of the puzzle, I want to give a bit of background information and history on this. Now I thought of the idea of combining a ghost cube with a cuboid quite a while ago and I thought, okay, I want to make it a theme though, so let's call it the Hell's Cuboid because I figured it would be kind of hell to solve. And uh, I pitched the idea to a couple of designers and they were both a bit too busy, so I was scouting around for a new designer and I happened to come across a designer with the YouTube channel Ben Puzzles, and that's, I guess, his brand for his puzzles. And uh, I pitched the idea to him and he was really excited to do it and so was I, so we decided, okay, well, let's make it happen. So I told him my idea. Um, combining a ghost cube with a cuboid. This is a 3x3x4 three by three by ghost cube and I wanted to call it the Hell's Cuboid because it would be hell to solve and, uh, and I wanted it to be presentable with a stand and so he started working on it and then he said well why don't we make the offcuts because the offcuts I mean like you know we have to turn in order to make a new you know cut in through another axis why don't we do it through different? And I said, you know what, why don't we do two of them then and make Heavens and Hell's Cuboid? So without his idea, both of these puzzles wouldn't have happened. Only one of them would have happened. So thanks to him for that. And he's a very, very good designer. I'll link his, uh, his Shapeway shop and his YouTube in the description. Anyway, so let's go on with this. This is the first of the two. I've also released the Hell's Cuboid today. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and uh, at the end of this video, there will be an annotation you can click to go straight to that. Um, Alright, so obviously you can see that it's got a stand. Now the stand, it, I think, was designed very well. Um, it says Heaven's Cuboid with a halo. And then on the side it says Crazy Bad Puzzles, which is the brand of my Shapeway shop. So I thought that the stand was designed very, very well. Now when I initially had the idea for the stand, I wanted it to be a little bit more eccentric. And... Um, I wanted like, you know, angel wings to come up the side and wrap around the puzzle on each side a little bit, but it was a little bit too difficult, so we didn't end up doing that. Um, but either way, it worked out very, very well. So that's the stand, and uh, I think it, it makes the puzzle very, very presentable and looks great on a shelf. Now for the puzzle itself, uh, this thing couldn't have turned out better. This is a very, very good puzzle. It was a bit of a pain to, to uh, assemble because we're not looking at, you know, um, there's not, you know, pieces that are the same on here. All the pieces are completely different, and it was kind of a jigsaw puzzle to put together. And the turning is super good. Like, I can turn this with one finger. Um, so it's very, very good. Very well made. And then here, also, I can turn it with one finger. And then I've signed the puzzle for anybody who may want to buy it. And then the middle layers are also perfect. Um, now, in order to scramble this puzzle, you need to turn the cube so they're offset a little bit and now you can go ahead and make another turn and you can see that it turns very very smooth now I've solved this thing a few times and this one is not as difficult as I thought it would be and the reason for that is because on a 3x3x4 you solve the two middle ones first and then the two outer ones and because everything in the two middle layers lines up together um, it's, it's not that difficult to find the pieces. Um, and then you can just do the top and bottom the way you would these two because everything looks the same. So this is the Heaven's Cuboid. It's a little easier than, it's actually a lot easier than the Hell's Cuboid. Um, and it's white and blue, light blue, and same with the stand. I just colored the stand with felt marker. And I made these, these colors to simulate clouds and the sky, sort of like where Heaven would be. So I thought it was a really, really cool concept. Um, now these are available on my Shapeway shop, and you can either buy the puzzle by itself if you are interested in purchasing one of these, or you can buy the puzzle and the Heaven's Cuboid. Now the prices are at my Shapeway shop. The links for both of these are in the description. And uh, so I'm going to go on with the uh, scramble of this thing because it looks really, really cool. So we scramble it up this way, do another turn, got to make sure everything's aligned, and then separate these pieces out. 
Now I was intimidated at this puzzle at first. I will, I will say that. Now I've solved this thing a few times and I've kind of learned uh, what to look for, what, what not to do when solving this puzzle. But I think it's really cool because it is the very first cuboid that's ever been made into a ghost cube before. There's never been anything like this before. So I'm gonna, that's not quite scrambled yet. Let's go like this. Anything still attached, everything looks scrambled up. So that is a scrambled Heavens cuboid. Um, I, I've been excited for this for a while. Like I said, I've, I've had this idea for quite a while. And uh, it's cool because a lot of my other Shapeways, you know, products aside from the uh, the crazy pill are just cuboids. It's easy to come up with numbers, but something like this was sort of something you had to envision and then uh, come out with. Now, if any of you guys wanted to buy one of these and it was assembled from me, of course I can do that for an extra charge because I have to pay for um, all of the uh, products and stickers and shipping and taxes and my time to do it. Um, if you want, I can sign it or you can buy this one, of course with the stand and uh, you can email me at crazybagcuber at gmail.com and I can give you a price for that. Um, but you can have it signed and it is protected. Where is it? It's protected with a clear coating so the signature can't wear off. Now if you wanted, I could also sign another piece with Crazy Bad Cuber and protect that one as well. But this one's already been protected so I can't re-sign this one. Anyways guys, um, that is the Heaven's Cuboid, and I love this puzzle, and it looks great on my shelf. Now, if you guys wanted assembled versions of this, um, I can do that, like I said, and I've already got two more of these coming, so it wouldn't you wouldn't have to wait that long, unless you wanted this one, then you wouldn't have to wait at all. Uh, I accept PayPal only, and uh, anyways, guys, so that is the puzzle. Super, super fun. Here's a stand. And uh, for the assembled versions, what I've got coming, um, the, the orders I have coming come with a stand, so you have to buy the stand if you're going to buy the puzzle. Um, personally, I think they make a really good match. So, anyways, guys, thanks to Ben Puzzles again. Me and him are currently working on two more puzzles already uh, because it worked out so well for these ones. Um, there was absolutely no errors in anything that he has designed for me, um, so I'm definitely into working with him again. So anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video.